we've seen very cleanly from the Argentinians or Argentinians. Uh, you know, I'm gonna mess that up, and every time Epcot's gonna look at me like he is right now, and he's just gonna. I'm so sorry. I'm not. I don't mean it. My brain doesn't work well. Look, I'm a commentator. I talk about video games. It, I clearly am not. It, I don't pronounce things right. I don't do math. Right. Math. Zer, though, he does it right. They're going to open up. We said they need to step up. Uruguay right off the rip. They're going to step up and get the opening goal. Yeah, I I love you, Americanians, man. I, I, I love yeah, you guys no, dude, so it, much. It, it, <laughs> I don't, yeah. I think I think as Americans we just uh, we pronounce everything wrong. So when somebody pronounces us wrong, I'm just like, yeah, this won't. Deserve. Whatever, whatever. No whatever's here though. An early goal for Uruguay. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. And we have seen some moments, especially from Math. Actually, is oh Shad was looking to shadow that shot. It was well read, but also palmed away down the other end this time for Zaro to take a, a, a go at this. And here's AJG looking for Zaro oh, again. Yeah. Beautiful passing play and it's off the crossbar, down and out. So unfortunate, Argentina. Another oh, go one. Again. Oh. Shot two, but Navarro was there, and that one ends up having to get shot wide. AJG to Shad, looking for that infield once again, time and time again. Argentina trying to feed that one. Zaro again was actually looking for it. He's like, come on, just keep giving it to me. <laughs> one of these times it's going to go in. I, I swear I can do it. I love how fast the Argentinian rotation has been throughout this competition. Actually, Zaro, one player to actually highlight because he's actually the player. Actually, no, I should lie. It's, it's Shad the one to pick it up as that goes wide from the aforementioned Zaro. But Shad is the one who's picking up all these boost pads. He's at the most boost steals in that regional up there. And no matter how many boosts he had, it's another shot and another shot and another shot. I'm just going to keep on talking until Argentina score. 330 tie game. That right there, that's more than what I want to talk about. That's a Telestrator play. This goal plus like 45 seconds of attack is insane. And you were talking about it. You said, hey, they're doing this really fast rotation. They're playing full cut rotation. They're mm -hmm. actually not even making it back to midfield. They're just securing corner boost after corner boost after corner boost. And they continue to run that figure eight yep. through the opponent's box and eventually get through. It is a dangerous game to play. But as long as you're securing the boost and you are making it awkward touch after awkward touch for the defense, you can break them. That was, I mean, the one that kickoff goal for Uruguay. That's that. That's that one proper moment of attack. Since then, they have been penned in their own half. Finally, a chance to get out, but it's straight up to Shan, and it's straight back recycled into the midfield. Here is CRS. I'm hoping to see more. I'm sure Uruguayan fans are as well. No block on this as Shad gets it away. Navarro looking to pin this up against a wall. He, get, he manages to suss out Zaro. That was on target. That was dangerous, and AJG needed to be there. Zaro here, he's looking to bring this one down the side wall, up into the corner. Can he maintain possession? He at least gets a touch on it, which will freeze it in the corner for the moment. AJG ends up doing a bit of a giveaway touch. Backboard defense was there for Mass as they tried to clear it, but too big and back into the hands of Argentina. They're doing a great job now. When they aren't in that control and they're not winning those corner boosts, the one thing that they are doing really well is that they are getting back to their end, waiting for that clear to come down, and then taking control and bringing the ball back down the pitch rather yep. than turning it into a volleyball match that we get to see a lot of the times when USA, some of the squads in the RLCS, and uh, just in North America, oh. I mean, Shad able to bring this one down. There's the open net, and he just puts it in right underneath the bar. Catches it perfectly to just get it over Math here, just to the right. Perfectly placed. He picks it up from his own backboard. He travels with it, and he puts it exactly where he wants to. Two on Argentina. And if you're Uruguay, I'm looking at this first game and I'm thinking you've got to make an early impression. They did do that, but Argentina have been allowed to get back into it. There Unfortunate it for Navarro as the save ricochets off his car and the, and the crossbar and the car and the crossbar. And eventually Zaro, who has been threatening to score all game, finally has one for himself. That is such a huge heads-up play from AJG, actually. He recognizes the situation, 
player is going to go up. He sees the second man. He knows the ball is going to get touched and saved, but he knows that the second man's camera is currently aimed at the sky. Yep. <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and just take the free sucker punch, rip him out of the box, and that allows their third man to have a free play forward with very low threat to have that ball go back down the other way. AJG almost puts in a fourth. Missile strikes coming out from Argentina, absolutely peppering this blue net. Maths, oh, that is unfortunate. And AJG picks up a fourth for Argentina. Well, uh, sometimes things Oof. don't quite go your way. And this is one of those times. Pinch play, back the other way off the defender from the sidewall, comes right off the nose of Math and straight down into an open net. This one here, opportunity for Math. He won't be able to beat AJG to the punch. I like how you call him Math, and I'm like, Maths. Math, sir? Maths? Math? Uh, I'm just saying Math. Uh, it's the only part of Math that I can do properly. So I, I do it better than saying Argentinian. <laughs> Of course, we've uh, yet to see his brother Calculus, of course, as Zaro no, waits please, away. No. <laughs> no, I, just, I can't. I know. Uh, oh, what a goal. AJG's out here doing trigonometry. I love it. I love it. And I love this. Shout out to Navarro who managed to get there. Shout out to AJG who puts it past not one, but two defenders who tried to read that. That is... That's silky smooth right there. That replay angle, that camera was so, so good. good as he comes up. You see it go around one and he receive it off the ceiling and then slot it right between the two defenders, right underneath the crossbar. What placement is that? 5-1 Argentina as we approach the end of game one here, starting to run away as they find their rhythm, they find their stride. High off the crossbar, finish isn't there. They whip. Maths. All maths. With the musty flick, Navarro. That's handing just, just possession straight over to the team in orange. And Math can go central, he can go sideways all he likes. Game number one has Argentina written all over it. They might have scored, but for a solid four minutes 30, that was a dominant performance, Super. For, yeah, the, that final, the final minutes is where it really started feeling like it. When we got into that second half, it really felt like they found that rhythm, that stride, and it just started becoming open space in the air. I talked about in the last series that we were watching where there was a problem in terms of backboard defense. This time, it is falling in an issue of being able to get above your own net. So that might still be related to the backboard, but even when they had two on the backboard, mm -hmm. they still slotted it right through them. So bit of a tough situation. Very tough situation indeed for Uruguay to try and bounce back from here. They have two more games at the very least to try and salvage something. But the more and more I look at them, the more I think, well, they were dominant in their own region. Sure, it was wonderful to see this team pop off. But in comparison to the rest of the Americas who have had so much experience at the very top echelons of Rocket League esports, is there still some way to go for this country? On evidence so far, yes, I would love to see a resurgence starting here in game number two. Another early kickoff goal for me. Not enough super. I want to see some consistency. I want to see them building up that pressure from the midfield. What about two kickoff goals? Yeah, they'll do, they'll do. That's, that's, that's that for you. Yeah, that works as well. That happens in the midfield, right? Yeah, that's true. Yep. So maybe two kickoff goals would be enough to get it started off. Um, and the first one is going to be basically a kickoff goal in the opening seven seconds. Unfortunately, it is going the other way, though. Argentina from the backboard, AJG, <laughs> just going to jump down. That one might have barred down and in without his assistance. Oh, no. But you might as well just go ahead and secure it. Oh, he just he, he just looked Sorrow straight in the eyes and was like, Oh, sorry, you thought I was. You, you thought you were going to get that goal? <laughs> Matt almost getting a goal back there. I like the enthusiasm from Uruguay. Oh. Navarro is going to go just wide. Great idea. Great mechanical prowess. But unfortunately, it's going to end in a second for Argentina. Oh, CRS also bit on it because he wanted that ball to go in so badly. He came forward and then wasn't rotating back yet. And Matt 
gets up into the air, can't get there in time, and that is just a big clear down while all three players of Uruguay are sitting in the offensive half. Can't defend. I, mean, I mean, you can't defend when you're there, to be fair. I mean, you can. It's, it, it, it's hard to it, defend it, your net from it, the opponent's third. Exactly, exactly. And so Argentina quite happy to look for more as CRS is going to end up throwing this one to Zaro. I mean, look at Shad. I mean, these guys are literally turning into a freestyling group, if you want to call it that. Just, oh, hello, Matt. <laughs> oh, look at yeah, that. The power slide button. Oh, hello. <laughs> look at this team. They're a, they're a freestyle team. Uruguay immediately <laughs> starts doing dances on the field. It's like, yeah, I can do it too. Oh my goodness. Are you, I... <laughs> Hoga, are you feeding us into player comms? Can they hear us? Because that was two on cue for me. I love it. If that is not in the final ESL highlight reel for this competition, I'm, I'm going to be a disappointed man, honestly. I just, just do like the wiki wiki, you know, like oh. the, the, the disc scratching. Scratching the surface, it seems, is Argentina when it comes to the gold tally. It's 3 minutes 33. It's a third for Argentina. AJG onto the nose of Shad and just straight on point into the net. 3-0 now here in game number two for Argentina as they continue to march their way through Uruguay and working their way through this group stage. Let's certainly give credit to Argentina, the professionalism needed. They know that they have to really sink this Uruguayan ship in order to set up that crucial matchup against Brazil tomorrow. Navarro and AJG, this should be maths. And he's going to miss that second touch in Argentina to break out here and a, a rare whiff actually from AJG as well. Shad to pick up the pieces, but well, although Maths won the race, he didn't do much with the ball afterwards. Towards net, Navarro slows down. So he slows down again. CRS surely, and there is your first for Uruguay in, in game number two. First one on the board, and that really comes off of the work from Navarro. You see him right at the last second put his nose on the ball, making sure that it's not going to 50 through him, gets off the ground, center of gravity, just get all your weight on that ball, mm -hmm. and that allows CRS to have enough time to react to that ball and make that play. So good effort there from Navarro to open up that first goal for them. They'll need two more if they want to tie it. Navarro, good touch here. Follow up from Matt, oh. ripped off the pitch. CRS, AJG, is it a goal? No. Navarro from the back, looking for math. Oh God, I said math. Oh dear. Aha! I have converted you. <laughs> Uh -huh, Ex uh -huh. Existential crisis for me, goodness me, as AJG may be looking to palm it back. No, there is Navarro, another missed touch. His math yeah, I'll, with I'll, AJG. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what, following my pronunciations yeah? is definitely a bad thing. You do not want to pick up my habits. I am terrible at it. Uh, I'm the worst one. You should try and follow F dot or Stax. Stax does a great job of making Stax, sure he figures them out. He does a great job, doesn't oh. he? As does AJG with pick. Picking up these passes, just shooting it on net with great accuracy. With, I mean, they're, I'm, I'm choking up. I'm choking up with how lovely this Argentinian players. They're evolving, right? So we've been watching them do this carry off the sidewall, drop to the guy in the midfield. He shoots it on net from the center of the map. Not now. Now they bring it down on the nose, drop to the guy in the midfield, and he shoots it to the guy that's waiting on the left side of the post to just cherry pick one in. Quick one, two, three play. They were doing the one twos. They're getting the third man involved now, and they're becoming more oh. and more dangerous as this series continues. Top pocket for Zaro here. AJG involved once again. Couldn't have been placed better. Navarro's in the right place, couldn't get the block. Lions share of 90 seconds left. And it does seem more like a question of how many for Argentina as opposed to whether they're going to win or not. Maybe here's a sixth. Yep, here's a sixth. At the moment, USA wasn't able to pull off of Brazil, but Argentina is looking to give one to Uruguay. At this pace, they're going to go to there and beyond. I think it might be more than a Brazil at this point. They are scoring for fun. 
And Uruguay left a little shell-shocked once again. Though I repeat, they are a good team within the case of their own region as Shad does them a solid, throws it out from their own goal line. What a nice guy. What a great guy, you know? Every now and then he does something for for the other side. Uh, 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 okay. No, that's not how Brazil should happen. No. <laughs> you can almost, no. it's almost like a baseball catch. Like, I got it, I got it, I got it. I oh, okay, I don't got it. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's, I don't. Uh, uh, hey, you know what? What a nice guy giving Shad slash Argentina the goal, two goals that they that, that they might have, should have. It's not a Brazil anymore. It's not. It was actually maybe one of the shortest lived Brazils ever. Possibly, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, uh, uh, wow. direct. Where's that stat? <laughs> huh? Huh? I'd like to see it. I mean, maybe it I'll could be you, a I'll, world record. I'll bet you he doesn't have the stats ready to, to tell me that one. That'll be a new I'm one he'd have to go I'm back waiting through. for the ping. I'm waiting for the oh, ping. If like, D-Rec pings me well, with that one, I'm going to lose my Actually, mind. like, pushes the glasses up. I will actually just walk off. I will take my headset off. I will walk away. AJG, once again, gets another goal in. 9-1 now, Argentina. We saw 10-plus score lines earlier today. Norway versus South Africa. There was a whole fracas about it. And here it's just like Uruguay, the life has literally been drained from their systems. Argentina, they are still playing well. Like it's it's not like there's any disrespect here. They are literally just playing to the to the levels which we expect them to. Uruguay outclassed for now. They'll have to really just reset. Take some deep breaths and look at game number three with a fresh perspective. That's a great way to end the series. Maths with a second for the team in blue and white. And also a yellow little thing at the top left-hand corner because I realize that the flags, it's, apart from the shade of blue, share the same color scheme. It's actually a nasty goal. That follow from mm -hmm. Math is actually insane that is uh that's one of those ones that when it hits the replay package at the end of this series and we get to watch it again coming into the desk is going to be one i'll be watching for that is a really well executed quick chase just kind of heat seeking missile locked in able to get that follow through and punch it into that upper 90 so great follow-up shot there unfortunately two to nine will not get it done and we will Get ready here to go into game number three. Argentina leads to zero in this best of five. And how about that for, for just the statistical line from AJG? Five shots, five goals, four assists means that it is 100% goal participation. As close to a perfect game as I think one player can have, of course, heading up over that 1,000 point scoreline. And for Uruguay, the one positive I can pick up is, hey, that was a great goal for Mass. CRS on the board, Navarro with a couple of good opportunities, and they didn't lose by, by a double digit scoreline. You know what the perfect games that I'm always looking for are? I'm always there with Shogun in the looking for the perfect series, the 1-0, 1-0, 1-0. Of course, yes. But I'm also always there with uh, Jake, uh, Strangest Stranger, in the Royal Sampler, the one goal, one assist, one save, one shot. Oh, so the, the next uh, step a, up from Donuts. I take a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of those ones that he kind of threw out there to us when we were doing the Rival series, and I was like, I... I love that, Jake. It's pretty great. That is a that's a pretty solid one. Game three, underway here. Kickoff. Let's see if they've got it. Zaro opening shot out of the kickoff, looking like it was about to go Argentina's way again immediately, and it's still and it is it is still going Argentina's way. Yes, it is. Uh, and, and this is another goal uh, within the first ten seconds. What a and AJG is just flexing so hard right now. I'm a big fan of this player. I cannot wait to see how he adapts to the RLCS North American scene next year, as it will be the case, of course, for Shad and Razeball, the two teammates on True Neutral. Uruguay, my 
full energy is behind you right now. I'd love to see you get at least an equalizer, but it's, oh, it's not looking likely, is it? AJG with yet another. He can't stop helping himself. See, in my head, like, I'm just hoping right now, as this is going on, like, Ray's Bull's there, just, like, hyping them up behind yeah, yeah. the he's not <laughs> His team's not playing right now, so he's just there. Shoulder massage. Oh, AJG <laughs> scored. Oh, Shad scored. Got to go over here. Great job. Fist bumps for everybody. Uh, that's what I imagine is going on in my head. Mm. Uh, I don't know if that's actually happening, but if it's not... Um, I, I certainly hope so. I mean, there was the possibility that the entire true neutral roster would have made it to that double bracket elimination on day two. Zaro, another banger to add to his collection today. Sadly, we're not going to actually get that true neutral all heading to the double bracket elimination on day two since Chile mathematically cannot make it, but I'm sure that Ray's Ball will be there in the background now, urging his Argentinian comrades on. It's looking pretty likely from here. A 3-0 sweep on the horizon against Uruguay. This one here in the corner, Zaro with the beat. That'll bring that one around to the other, other end of the pitch, onto the opposite wing, and the follow through, AJG, right over the top of Math, is gonna punch one down into the corner. Oh, hello. Follow up, oh. crossbar, down into the post and out. By the way, we've still got four minutes left of this match. Zaro is AJG. The Dyke nods forward thinking as perhaps he was hoping, but he picks up that 100 boost. Let's see what you've got, AJG. Oh, no. oh, it's looking pretty good. Oh, it's looking pretty good. It's a lovely back pass as well that Shad was just not ready for, but he was ready for the cannonball shot. Navarro down, double touch. Awkward for Math, who does actually really well with that. Here's Shad, backboard. AJG, he's just looking for these airstrikes, and he will probably get one at some point in the next three minutes, 30. Is it going to be here? Great dunk. Nobody there. Math into the midfield. Math ends up clearing. CRS does get that touch. Math won't be able to get it around, but it was heading straight towards the opponents again. These clears aren't really getting to a spot that allows them to do too much with it. Chad looking for the double flip free set. Not going to be able to get through the defense. Zaro from the corner looking to shoot. Math will be able to get it right on side the near post. And again, just using all the mechanics to just keep the ball close to the vest over and over again is this uh, Argentinian team. I did it right for once. I am very proud of myself. This Uruguayan rotation I'm looking at right now, it's kind of like my shirt, just a little bit too tight. Just a little bit too tight. It's they, they are not spreading out as much as they should do. And I know that you're opening up the, the shooting lanes for Argentina, but Oh, you know, like, look at them. They're all huddled together. And, I mean, listen, super analyzing me. Um, I hope I've, I've passed your checks. Maths, backboard, shad away, and just happy to air dribble this way. So much time. Beats two players. Infield, AJG, pre-jumping. I mean, if they were playing at full pelt at this point, that is a fourth. But I think that Argentina know at this stage they've just got to run down the clock. Yeah, that's all they need to do. Shad going to just continue to pop this one back down. CRS on the follow. Won't be able to get it on target, and that should give the boost and control to the man, the myth, the legend, currently on this Argentina squad, AJG. Zaro to the ceiling. Going to look for the backboard to drop one down. CRS with some defense there. And another drop down pass from AJG. Nobody ready to commit on it. And AJG is just refusing rotations right now, too. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's a little disrespectful how often he's willing to just stay in. He can get away with it, though. Shad, oh, wow, Navarro, I feel so bad for you, my friend. You can see the attempted flip rotate, or the, the flip reset, I should say, from Shad actually whiffs it slightly, and Navarro expecting that flip reset commits to that, and Zara's like, oh, okay, another goal, thank you very much, top pocket, and there's one minute 23 left on the clock, and a fourth goal for Argentina, that was a lovely succession, with a zero on the other side, it was the perfect succession of numbers, but Uruguay are not going to be smiling, for them, it looks like they will not be progressing to the double Elim bracket. A little bit of a battle here as AJG dribbles not just the ball, but also his teammate Shad across the What a field. carry. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to carry here. Hop on. I'm just going to dribble you and the ball. It'll confuse everybody. No one will know what's going on. It's the ultimate offense. Why are they bump playing each other into show? What is happening right now with Argentina? I get it that you're up. I get that you're in the lead, but yeah. 
I, I'm confused by the attempts of what you were actually going for. I think they're just stalling time. I think that's the only answer here. Is it this? I mean, at this point, you could argue maybe it is a little res disrespectful to Uruguay as AJG just slaps that ball of poor Maths, who's actually, to be fair to him, done such a great job for all the hype that CRS had. I'm so happy with what I've seen from Maths today. I think he's been a real bright spark for this Uruguayan squad, and maybe there will be more to come from him. But it's going to be a fifth on the board for Argentina. It is going to be, as was expected, a win overall for Argentina, the 3-0 sweep, and tomorrow looks so tasty with that duel against Brazil. That's going to be a great game to kind of kick off the day with. I'm looking forward to that one heavily, especially after seeing that. Oh. Uh, why? Um, especially after watching that USA-Brazil match where you know, there's times, even with yeah. the ping disadvantage and everything that was occurring there, playing up in the David versus Goliath style match, yep. there was a lot to see there. And this true neutral squad, they have a lot to show as well. Um, you know, this Argentina team and that Brazil squad, that is, that might be the matchup of the group stages. I could not agree with you more. I really couldn't. Oh, F's in chat for Uruguay. It is comprehensive from Argentina. In truth, it could have been a lot worse. But we still have two more series to bring to you all today. 